truth is that which moves. Truth is not something that can be indicated in words. It can only be pointed out. If you want to know truth, it can only be pointed out. It is true. It is one of Buddha's statement. Truth is that we use. I can say anything. If it directs you towards truth, it works. Of course, truth cannot be said. It can only be pointed out. I use anything that points towards it. I can use anything provided it points towards it. Perhaps for different people, different pointers are needed. To me, it does not matter what I say. What matters is whether it leads you in the right direction or not, in the direction towards your illumination, that is what is most important. If it leads you towards the right direction, in search for your inner nature, then it works. My definition is exactly the same. Truth is that which works. It is pragmatic and Gautam Buddha is very pragmatic man, very scientific. This definition can be called scientific also. It is practical. All definitions of science are nothing but proof for this definition. We do not know what electricity is. We only know how it works. No one has seen electricity, but we have seen its usage. We do not know anything about atomic energy, what it is, it, what it is, but we know how it works. And that knowledge of how it works is the whole science of it. The ultimate truth is not different and the master's function is to lead you, to direct you, to push you in the direction where you can find truth. He cannot give it to you, but he can create devices which will lead you to he only creates devices to lead you to truth. In a very subtle way, what the Master says is not meant to be understood. Instead, it is meant to be drunk so that it reaches your bones, your blood, your marrow, and you start moving in a certain direction not knowing where you are going, but the Master knows where you are going. If you are going on the right track, you will find His blessing and His love showering on you. That will be the only indication that you are on the right path. One day you will find the truth and then you will love because what was said had nothing to do with truth, but it certainly turned your attention towards it. There is an old story which many times I have narrated again and again. I narrate it to you again. A house is on fire and a small children are in the in one of the rooms playing. They are so involved in their play, the whole neighborhood is shouting, come out, the house is on fire, but they are enjoying that too. The flames are all around and children are in the middle of the house. They have never seen such fire. 
and they are not listening to the crowd. Then comes the father who had gone to the market and people say now do something all your children will be dead. The house is almost going to collapse. The father went close and shouted, I have bought your toys, all the toys that you have asked for, come out. Just the back door of the house was not burning yet. They all rushed out and asked the father, where are the toys? And the father said, you will have to forgive me. I have not bought them today, but tomorrow I will bring them for you. They said, why did you unnecessarily disturb our game? He said, I have not disturbed your game. You do not understand. The house is on fire. You would have been dead. I simply lied to you about the toys because I knew that it was the only thing that you can that can bring you out. Now toys and fire seem to have no connection. But in that particular situation the father functioned as a master. He gave the children an indication that saved their lives. Children love toys. Children love stories. Children love things like these. And we grown up are also like children. We like stories and anecdotes, parables, poems, riddles. That's why almost all the systems, whether it is Zen, whether it is Sufi, or others, they all have devised, developed devices like parables, stories, codes to indicate to you something which works like truth. No toys. Remember, there is no connection between toys and fire. But in but. In that particular situation, the father functioned as a master. He gave the children an indication that saved their lives. Although now they are aware he lied, but they will not complain about it. He lied out of compassion. He lied because he loved them. He lied because he wanted to save their lives. Truth cannot be said. So whatever can be said is going to be a beautiful lie. Because, beautiful because it can lead towards truth. So I make a demarcation between lies. Beautiful lies and ugly lies. Ugly lies are those that take you away from truth. And beautiful lies are those that direct you towards truth. But as far as their quality is concerned, both are lies. But those beautiful lies works, and in some way they hold the flavor of truth. Indeed, that which works leads to truth.